Okay, we have to change the uh, round from round six to round seven, and that means we have to roll for the spy. So here we go. Let's get some dice ready. Um, remember, minor axis will not be rolling because they currently don't have a capital, but the Dutch will be rolling because they currently do have a capital. So here's Germany, six. That's a good sign for Germany. Finland, two. Uh, Russia, three. United States, six. Oh. Japan, six. Oh. Italy, three. England, three. Canada, two. South Africa, three. Anzac, one. And the Dutch, three. Okay, so we clear away all of the countries that did not roll sixes. And we are left with those. So we get to re-roll those. So we're going to go Germany, one, so it probably won't be Germany. US, two, and Japan, two. Oh, wow. Okay, so Germany is out of the mix. So Japan, three, United States, four. So the United States is currently the spy. Okay, Germany and uh, Finland and the Minor Axis get to go now. Minor Axis actually does not have a capital, so they don't get to spend any money, and they literally have no pieces on the board. Uh, so this is going to be kind of interesting. Okay. Um, Finland has uh, seven IPCs to spend. They're going to save one IPC, and they're going to purchase a tank. Germany has 36 IPCs to spend. They're going to be buying six infantry for 18, three artillery for 12, and actually, you know what, make that one artillery and two mechanized infantry, or two artillery and one mechanized infantry uh, for uh, 12, and then uh, a tank for six. Uh, Germany only has one attack this round. They are unsurprisingly going to be attacking Holland, Belgium, and they're going to be coming in with... Uh, the tank and the mechanized infantry from Germany, the uh, strategic bomber from Germany, and then from Western Germany, uh, the strategic bomber and two infantry, and then the Finns are coming in with two infantry and a tank. Uh, so that's the only attack this round, so let's roll it. Okay, Holland, Belgium. This is a capital. So Germany's coming in with uh, two uh, strategic bombers at four, two tanks at three, um, a mechanized infantry paired with a tank at two, and then two German infantry and two Finnish infantry. One outs, oh, two hits. That's really sad and pathetic. All right, we will lose, I guess, the two Canadians. All right, two, four, and two. Two hits, we'll lose the two fins. So two ones gone. Two hits, slow and steady wins the race, I guess. hits. So those are the infantry. Two hits. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. One hit. Okay, so we'll lose these two guys. And we'll lose this guy. Two 
two hits. Wow. One hit, so we'll lose the finish tank. And uh, the Germans take the territory with one tank left. Okay, non-combat move. We're kind of a little afraid for our Navy now at this point, so I think we may have to move them into C-Zone 113. Uh, the only other non-combat moves are we're going to use this uh, artillery as a blocker in Hungary, Slovakia. And we're going to push these two uh, mechanized infantry from Finland into Novgorod. But those are the only two uh, non-combat, or the only three non-combat moves we're going to do. Okay, I forgot to mention in the non-combat movement that the two strategic bombers from Holland, Belgium will land in western Germany. Okay, so in terms of placements, we're going to go two infantry, two artillery into western Germany, um, and I will put the mechanized infantry and the tank in Germany. Uh, we're going to put two infantry into southern Europe. We're going to put two infantry into Novgorod at the military base there. And the Finnish tank is going to go, of course, in Finland because that's the only place it can go. Okay, um, in terms of changes to the um, money, Holland, Belgium is now German. So the Dutch, who never got the chance to spend their money, um, are going to go from 14 to 11. And the Germans are going to go from 30 to 33. So in terms of income, um, there's the 33, plus they get 14 from um, Holland for conquering them. Uh, so that's 40, 47 IPCs. So I'll just replace these. So 47 IPCs for Germany, and we have seven IPCs for uh, Finland, and they saved an IPC for last time, so they're going to have eight IPCs to spend. In their coffers. So let's do the disposition of forces for the Germans. C zone, whatever this is, 113, uh, is three transports, uh, one um, carrier with a fighter on it, two um, cruisers, a destroyer, and a submarine. Holland, Belgium, we have a tank. Uh, Western Germany, we have two strap bombers, two infantry, two artillery, two anti aircraft. Germany, anti-aircraft, uh, mech, and a tank. Slovakia, Hungary, um, artillery. Eastern Poland, infantry. Belarus, um, mech infantry, tank, artillery, and uh, anti-aircraft. Uh, Archangel, two uh, mech infantry and two tanks. And Novgorod, two infantry. Now for the Finns, we have in Novgorod two mech infantry, an Archangel a tank, and in Finland a tank. Uh, so that is the extent, and of course there are no minor axis pieces anywhere on the board. So uh, Russia is going to be up next, so we'll see what they do. We'll see how hard they hit back. And uh, yeah, so we're into turn 7 now. Russia turn 7 coming up.